Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Balan Brands, and today I want to show you how to add a right sidebar to an individual page on your brew using Elementor. So if you have one of our new brews, we're using the Elementor Design Builder as part of the makeup of the new brew, and it's because it gives us a lot more control and functionality. So I'm going to show you how that works here right now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the page that I want the right sidebar on. Now you'll see here I've already added it to the page. I'm going to show you how I added that. And if you want to add it to other pages where we're going to go to do that. So the one thing that is to note is that this is considered a single page with the right sidebar. It's, that's the one that it's using. But ultimately it's a, it's a page. Okay, so what we're doing is there's different ways to get in to where we want to go. Ultimately, I'm going to go to edit with Elementor and I'm going to click on theme builder. Theme builder is where we get to basically all of our controls, not just for this particular page, but it's actually where each of the different uh, layouts like save templates ultimately that we have. So you'll see we have a default site header. We've got a default site footer. So of course, those are the header and the footer in your theme. We have the default single page and a default single post. So a single page is uh, just as it sounds, an actual WordPress page versus a WordPress post here in this case, um, or what you might know as a blog. We have a 404 error page, so page not found. We can edit that here. We have a default archive, if we're going to have a, an archive of pages as well. We've got our IDX wrapper that we install for you for IDX, and then we have the single page with sidebar. So that is the option that we want to do here. So when we have that single page with sidebar, then I can go ahead and click on that page, single page with sidebar, and I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. All right, so once we click on edit, it's going to open in Elementor. Now there's a lot of little controls that you wouldn't know about without getting a little deeper into here. So we're gonna actually take this. We already have the page set up. We like the way it looks. We just wanna apply certain conditions to it. So down here next to the update, there's a little arrow option. And we have this option to display conditions. So when you pull that up, you'll actually see here, we've already includes, so we're saying, where do you wanna display your template? So I want it to include on pages, Lake Las Vegas. So if I wanted to do another one, I'm going to add condition and I'm going to, where are we going to do it? Well, we're going to do pages and we'll, let's say we're going to do it on another particular page. Let's say a uh, general Las Vegas page. So what happens if I start to type it in, you'll see we already have Lake Las Vegas. I can also add it to this page, this page, this page. So I can do them individually on each of the pages. Now, if you look back at here, the kind of the value to look at is we could actually do, let's say, a different right sidebar for every different author that might be on. We could do a different right sidebar based on certain categories, for example. So let's say we're going to do any pages that that have uh, in Lake Las Vegas, I want to have a Lake Las Vegas right sidebar. And if I have Henderson pages, I want to have a Henderson right sidebar. So there's a lot of different options here that we can get into. But in this particular case, we're showing you just a simple option of applying it to an individual page. So once we've done that, we just go ahead and click Save and Close. And then we have the Update button. So it automatically updated because it's part of the template theme. And there you go. That's how we do it. So if you have any questions on that, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email us at team at